Don't move, Synth. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! What? <laughs> Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no Synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. <laughs> At least someone in this town did more than just stand and gawk. Officer? Nice shot. But I'm gonna have to ask you to step back. Got a mess to clean up. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. You got bricks for ears? I said get the hell out of here now. Hey. My own brother. If you hadn't shown up, he, he would have killed me. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Excuse me. My God. God. Find anything good on him. Officer? Move along. Go back to your own damn business. Takahashi. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Tell me a joke. What are you saying? Yes? Hey. What you need? Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah. I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow. The Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to be? You're full of it. That kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the synths. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. The bills. Huh. Forget the bills. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Picture on milk carton time? If only it was that simple, right? <laughs> Nick disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of ways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Money, huh? I do have 125 caps in the old rainy day fund. 
Come on. This is your boss's life we're talking about here. Fine. We'll make it 150 caps. Last chance. Put some real money on the table or we're done. Okay. You win. 200 caps is all I have. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. See what you have. The highest quality available. Shopping at night? Diamond City surplus is always open. It's the new guy. That's you, right? Got me mistaken for someone else. Mistaken? <laughs> okay, whatever. Well, my name's Arturo, and I sell protection if you're here to buy. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Let's see what you've got. Everything hand tooled. We can talk about guns. Or maybe you want to consider something more up close and personal. Shop in safety. No sense allowed at the surf. You? I, I don't know you. 
Just keep your distance. You're acting all kinds of crazy. I am not crazy. I read the paper. I know the synths are here, walking among us. So wait, are you telling me you're human? Why would you think I'm a synth? Why wouldn't I? A synth looks just like a person, with hair and sweat and blood and everything. So, are you human or not? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business you run in here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. Sure. Let's take a look. Just don't call it junk. Excuse me. Reveal them from Commonwealth. You need a genuine, authentic, custom made hickory swatter. What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Oh, really? What kind of teams were there? There was the Diamond City Demolishers. Big brutes of guys. I played in full power armor with special pneumatic arms, you know, for swinging. Then you had the Lexington Ladies. An all-female team with Coach Bloody Mary Sue at the helm. Highest kill count in the league! I could spend all day talking about the Concord Crushers oh, or the Quincy Killmeisters, but you get the idea. Uh, it was a hell of a sport. Look, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. Is that right, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? The teams would also beat the spectators to death. That's how the term spectator sport got started. Ah, uh, now that's my kind of action. I like my version better. Now, can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters? Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach! Quitting his for punk swesting had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? A hundred caps seems light. I need more. You think you can play me for a sucker? 100 caps a piece and that's it. Take it or leave it. What did you need again? Simple. Go to the old Westing estate and look for a baseball. A baseball card and a baseball mitt with signatures on all of them. A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. Have a minute? Got something on my mind. Is something wrong? I don't know. You tell me. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you've agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now, so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder if there's anything I learned in the combat zone. It was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. You're comparing me to that riffraff? You don't even come close to the losers that pollute the place. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss. But I called it home. I was making a few caps. 
Had me own bed to sleep in and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. You aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? Why are you so paranoid about debts? I really don't want to talk about it. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what are friends for? Doctor? A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. I need some supplies, Doctor. Uh, let's see what I can spare. Excuse me. Hey, Scabber. Got plenty of Brahmin meat on the hooks. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads. They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes we get weird stuff from the caravans, too. Weird stuff? Weirder than two-headed cow meat? Yeah, Prince Charming. Weirder than that. Mirelurk float flies, rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. Let's see what you've got. As fresh as it can be. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing, I ain't heard nothing. Nah. Hey, mister, that interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Too much dirt in that hair? Get it trimmed. You won't regret it. The latest news from the Commonwealth. 